Hey everyone, I am really determined to make this video today. I tried all day long yesterday and something kept happening. My my phone was, was the memory got full and then the battery died and then when I finally thought I had the video, I forgot to show you some rest in pieces. So I have to redo the whole thing again and I've got the girls watching a, a movie right now. I'll see how long that's gonna last. Also, I forgot to t mention uh, to you guys that my son graduated January the 8th. That was his last day of school. Of course, he hasn't done the whole graduation cer ceremony. They're going to do that in, you know, at the end of the year when they do all the ceremonies. So I'm really looking forward to, to that. Just wanted to share that with you guys. So I got a whole bunch of pieces. I want to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm just going to grab my camera and get close up to the pieces because it's easier for me to do that than to bring each piece up to the camera. So here we go. Let's see. Now some of these pieces, let me zoom out. Some of these pieces you guys have seen. You guys saw all the pieces where I added the glitter and then sealed with poly acrylic. So there's the strawberry one. There, These are the bows and on the bows I turned them into rings. They have been done with resin. So they turned out really, really pretty. Then the teddy bear, you've seen the owl. And this piece here is an older piece, but I did decide to bring it out and paint on it some spots and some zebra stripes. On the zebra stripes, there's polyacrylic. That's why you see it shiny like that. And then it's got some little... The little eyes are just the flat back of pearls in black. So that will be a magnet. I have very few polymer uh, clay pieces right now. This one is made from a cane that I got from Miss uh, from Lebidon 45. And then I got the little earrings too. There's two little pairs of earrings. And this one's a pendant. And um, These here are my new resin pieces. I think I'm going to need the light off for these. Um, this is the Mamagoma and I got two pieces on there together. It's a really sparkly one, and it's on a cell phone strap. This one I'm also going to put on a cell phone strap, and it's a really pretty one. All of the pieces have been domed in resin, so in case I don't mention that. Here's another pretty one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess I need the light off for these pieces. There's a little t-shirt in there, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's a really pretty one. And then a little bow and a little heart. And it's also on a cell phone strap. And here is the Hello Kitty one. And this one is, this half is uh, fine glitter and this half is chunky glitter. And it's really pretty. I'm really, I really am pleased on how those pieces turned out. This is just a little piece. I don't even know what to do with that. Um, I made the cutest little earrings, which are these. The little twin stars. I got the idea from Crafting81. Um, on her last video, she showed how she made some earrings from the Hello Kitty stickers she had. And I'm trying to focus these. But, um, and I thought that was really cute, so I wanted to try that. So I got these, and these look really cute on these little tags that I got from Norma. I only got two pairs, and then these other ones, I left them out here so you guys can see the back part. I dumped them with resin. So, let's see. So the back, there's the back part of the of the earrings. And I think these are really, really, really cute. I've got these three pieces here. These three pieces are going to be just like this. They will be pendants. They will have the pinch bell, which is this one here. But on these, I still need to glaze the front and I need to dome the back. And they're really pretty. They've got some uh, bows, some cute little roses I got from Norma and another little bow. Now I'm working on making a whole bunch of these rings. I've got the confetti and the hearts. And there goes my light. I thought I turned it off. Oh. Okay, and these have their bells and they have been done on the back. Not their bells, their ring pieces. <laughs> so I've got those and then I've got these really pretty pieces here. These are from some molds I got from 129 2009 essay and I really love this mold. It, this one is the the one that says princess and it's got some little micro beads all over 
and it has been dome. This is the other one that looks like that. There's the bell, and this one has the candy sprinkles, and this. there's this one here. This one here is a really pretty one. This one looks like a really big bottle cap, and this one is a magnet. I got this little guy here. I got some little spots on his little bow. He looks really cute. So that's him. I got some new molds from Victoria Bella, which are these here. There's this one here. And then there's this one, the Lala, and the Hello Kitty with the bunny ears. And then she sent me some little extra ones right there. And I really love this stuff. The silicone is really awesome. I think I'm going to be getting some of this to make my molds out of this instead of using the mold builder. So I managed to finish two pieces. This one here has, I painted on little leopard spots all over and he has two little blue hearts uh, through the inside of the mold. And these pieces, this one and that one there, when you look at them in person, you just want to shake them and watch the little beats move around. Of course, they're not going to move around, but that's what it seems like. Like, because the beads are just right here on this last layer. They didn't sink all the way to the to the face up here. And they turned out really, really pretty. They have been done on the bag. Same thing with this one. And on this one, I left the little hearts down here clear so that you can see the little pink candy uh, come through there. These two are already taken. Now I got another mold from Victoria Bella, which is this one, and it makes these cute little pieces here. Just the top part. And I've got this purple one with chocolate drizzle, and then I've got this little pink one. Well, it also has some chocolate drizzle and some heart confetti candy inside the base. If I can get that to focus. These are really, really pretty. I did paint on the little ears, the bow, and the eyes, and the nose, and just the little face. And then here is the other part, or the other piece. And it's got the little white candies. It's really, really pretty. And all of them have their, all of them have their little ring base, or their ring, their key rings. Really pretty. And I finally found the little apple mold at Target. It was only a dollar. And I'm really happy with it. I did dome the bags, and they have a little, they have a little um, screw eye pin, and a split ring. And I've got these four there already. This one I still need to work with. Now I want to show you some cute little pieces I got, and it's this little, this little cube here. It's a really awesome piece. Um, this particular one. I poured my resin into the mold because it was the resin I was using to glaze my pieces or dome. And when I I finished and when I did uh, started working on this one, the glaze was really tacky already. So you will see a lot of bubbles. And I'm gonna turn the light off for this one. So there is my daughter making a silly face, and you can see all the micro bu bubbles. There she is again. There she is again. And there's my confetti. And on the top, I did dome it really nice. And of course, this one is mine. <laughs> um, this is the second one I made. It's the Monster Heim. And what I wanted to do orig originally was do some fan poles. I'm trying to focus it. I wanted to do some fan poles, but then when the first piece came out, that one, uh, where to go, that one, um, I realized there was that wasn't going to work because they're too big. Okay, why well, are you not focusing? So there's the second one, and the top I did them with just black glitter. And then these two I demolded last night, but you can see that my resin got really hot or really hard. My sprinkles didn't go all the way down. One of them says princess, the other one says I love you. It's too much glare. But um, these are going to be, I haven't done anything to these, but these are going to be picture holders. And then, um... These are the pieces that I've made. I've made uh, my own little uh, pieces here. I'll just bring the camera here. I've got these are the original pieces, and these are my mold. It's Daddy. Can you open it, please? And then uh, these are the first pieces here. <laughs> my husband is here. I'm telling you, I'm going to get this video done today, right now. 
I got these, and then I got these. I went a little bubblegum machine crazy. I love bubblegum machines, so I had to do my own. And then I made the little cupcake ones. And then these were the last, this was the last mold I made, which is the best mold out of all of these, I guess. But it, it turned out really, really pretty. And on these, I just left, I just did this little base here because on these, I'm going to add little uh, screw eye pins to add little charms like this. And they all have, um, they all have the little hole right here where the candy is supposed to come out. See all those little holes. So I've got all of those. Um, now these mold, the molds that I made, I don't sell these because I only have one. And plus, when you get your, when you the mold or when you get your piece out of these that I've made, um, they're not perfect. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to make my pieces perfect, but they require a lot of a lot of work. Like I have to really sand these this particular piece really down and almost kind of like reshape it, but not not extremely uh, reshaping it, but almost like that. And you know it requires a lot of work. So I did manage to finish these pieces here, and I hope you guys like them. I think those are all the pieces um, that I have. I hope I showed you everything. And I hope I didn't skip anything. I'll just come around one more time. I do, like I said, I am falling behind. I've got the little apple mold filled up here. I've got some more rings that I'm going to do. I've got these pieces that I've just... I'm just falling behind here, guys. Falling behind. <laughs> but these are all the pieces I have for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed the rest of the update. And uh, we will talk to you later.